I'm Amy Anderson for Option Rally's news team. Let's take a look at the global market highlights and news that all traders and investors should be aware of. Is McDonald's irrelevant? Apple shares continue to nosedive and what will the Federal Reserve decide today? Let's take a quick look at what's happening in the global markets now. Apple and McDonald's were in the headlines today as Wall Street recovered after five days of losses. Both of these leading businesses weighed heavily on traders' minds, but their drag did not pull down the overall markets as traders eagerly awaiting the Federal Reserve tapering decision due later today. McDonald's reported lackluster quarterly results last week, and company executives used the word relevance, relevant, and relevancy a combined 20 times during its conference call with analysts. Translation, the leaders of the Golden Arches are very concerned about whether the company is still relevant. Positive U.S. consumer confidence numbers and robust house price data released after markets opened drove gains in the afternoon. The Dow gained 90 points, while the S&P 500 and Nasdaq also got a bump. Apple shares couldn't break out of its rut even after activist investor Carl Icahn said he bought another $5 million worth of shares on top of the $1 billion he bought last week. Icahn has waged a public campaign advocating that Apple return cash to shareholders through a stock buyback. Apple this week revised its guidance downward, upsetting traders. Meanwhile, there was positive news from Europe as the United Kingdom reported its strongest yearly economic growth rate since 2007 and consumer confidence rose in France. European stock markets advanced on Tuesday, climbing back from their biggest three-day fall since June last year. In the foreign exchange markets, the United Kingdom's Office for National Statistics reported that the country's economy expanded at the strongest pace since 2007 last year, with gross domestic pro uh, product rising 1.9%. The pound, however, initially moved lower as the slower growth rate in the fourth quarter eased pressure on the Bank of England to raise interest rates this year. The US dollar traded virtually flat against other major currencies on Tuesday, ahead of the Federal Reserve's update of monetary monetary policy. Moving to the commodities market. Gold ended the session moderately lower as traders wait on the Federal Reserve decision and markets calm worries about the emerging markets after reassurance from the IMF chief Lagarde saying there is no crisis. Gold is trading at 1251.75. Crude oil prices rebounded as the United States was swept by another frigid cold front that sent heating fuel and natural gas prices up in some areas. Traders also were looking ahead to the U.S. Department of Energy's weekly report on U.S. petroleum inventories on Wednesday. This is Amy Anderson from Option Rally signing off. Follow me on Facebook and watch for our new financial terms of the day and our weekly event news.